Hey guys, so um, I'm excited to be filming another video um, and today I'm just going to be talking about my how my junior year has been as well as giving you guys some tips on how to kind of make your junior year less stressful and how to choose classes. But um, yeah, I just wanted to, I thought this was a good time right now versus waiting till summer because I don't know about you guys, but this is definitely the time that you kind of start choosing your classes. I know like sophomore, or sophomore spring is when you choose your junior year classes. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what my experience was, some tips on how to kind of have a less stressful year and just stuff like that because I want to help you guys out and yeah so let's just get started. So I've actually been wanting to film this video for forever but I kind of never um, felt like I was credible enough. I always felt like I was too young but finally since I'm an upperclassman and I've gone through one semester of junior year I'm halfway done with my junior year. I just wanted I felt like I was finally credible enough because I'm an upperclassman so yeah, um, first I'm just going to start off by telling you guys the classes that I got. Um, if you want to know my grades, you can ask me in the comment section, but I'm not going to state them in this video because I don't want to trigger anyone. Some people might be like, oh my god, your grades are so bad. And another person might be like, oh my god, your grades are so good. I don't want to trigger anyone, so if you want to know, you can ask me down below. It's um, I don't judge people for people's grades. I hope people don't judge me for my grade, but the courses that I have pursued this year starting from first through sixth period. So my first period is honors pre-calc. My second period is AP language and composition, which is just, it's just English for juniors. Um, my third period is AP art history. My fourth period is AP US history. My fifth period is Spanish three and my sixth period is soccer. Now, a lot of you guys might notice I am not in a science this year. That was a conscious decision that I made on my own. Um, science is not my thing. I do not enjoy being in a science class. I knew junior year was going to be stressful. I knew it was going to be hard. I knew it was going to be hell. So I was like, I'm not going to add more fuel and take a science class, which I knew that I was not going to enjoy. So I'm not doing a science. I took um, a science course over the summer. It was just this pass and fail. So that sort of justifies it. So I'm going to tell you basically how my year has gone. So first semester for me was stressful in the beginning. And that's because I felt I was I felt like my courses were really hard. I had a very difficult English teacher. Honors pre-calc is hard for everyone. AP US history, it's hard. Like they're hard classes. Um even my AP art history class we a lot of studying for me. So um yeah, I thought that I was going to end with around two Bs. That was what I felt like. That was what I went into the year thinking. Um, my grades actually turned out better than that. I didn't get straight A's. The only class that I'm struggling with a lot is honors pre-calc. And if you guys don't know about pre-calc, it's a very difficult class. It's a very hard form of math. Um, a lot of people say pre-calc is harder than calculus. Um, I don't, I can't agree or disagree because I've never been in calculus, but I will say that pre-calc is no joke. None of my classes have been particularly too stressful at times. Some classes are very stressful. In the beginning of the year, AP A push was hella stressful for me, but now, like, it's, it's not a big deal for me. So yeah, you'll just go through stages when some classes are more stressful than others. Now, about GPA, um... If you're a junior, now if you're in California and you're into the UC system, look at the average GPAs for the colleges you want to go to and kind of aim for that. You should always aim to do your best, but if you're sacrificing mental health in order for straight A's, you're going to need to consider what you're giving up because when I was a sophomore, I didn't post a YouTube video for the whole entire year and that's because my mental health was literally in shambles. That was a very stressful year for me. So you're need you're gonna need to know what you're giving up for what grades. It's not worth it to go into depression for an extra A. That's not worth it. That if you're aiming for IVs, you're obviously gonna want to take the most vigorous course the courses at your school. I would say that course figures are more important than getting straight A's and a higher GPA because um someone who's taking all preps can have a 4.0 and prep classes are I'm not gonna 
like you know undermine them but they're not as vigorous as APs for sure so if you're looking to go to Ivy's you're looking to go to Berkeley LA SD SB you're gonna need to be in all APs um so yeah that's just my stance on it and now when you're choosing classes if you like English take AP English um if you like math take your honors math if you like science, take your AP Chem, take your AP Physics, take your AP Bio. Um, I would say that a good number of APs to shoot for for your junior year would be two to three. I think one AP is great, but um, I feel like if you're doing one AP, you might as well do two. So I would aim for two to three APs. Um, four APs is totally chill. You can definitely do four APs depending on who you are as a person. But um, I would say that a good number to stick to is two to three APs. And I'm not sure how your school weights GPA, but um, I would say that a good GPA to aim for is at minimum a 4.3. Um, you can get a 4.3 by taking two APs and getting A's in both of them. Or you can get a 4.3 by taking three APs and getting a B in one of them. It just depends. But to get a 4.3, you need to get... Um, at least two A's in and two A's and two AP courses. Um, yeah, so you need to strategize as you're choosing courses. Um, how I do this is I talk to all the people in the class ahead of me and I ask them their opinions. I ask them what teachers are good. I ask them what classes are good. And then I make kind of an educated, um, I kind of plan out my courses um, accordingly. So yeah, that's how I do it. Um, I knew junior year that I needed to step up my GPA for a sophomore year. And that's why I chose to do three APs in one honors class. Just junior year in general, just overall tips. Um, I recommend that you focus, you really hone in on your extracurriculars. Um, if you're not in any clubs by junior year, junior year that is okay. Um, I joined like... I signed up for 15 clubs my freshman year. It was it was crazy. I I only stuck with two though. So um, junior year, if you're not in any clubs, you need to start thinking about your extracurriculars. If you're in sports, keep on pursuing sports because if you just have the GPA and you just have the SAT, it is not enough. And if nothing at your school is vibing with you and you don't like anything, you don't need to be fake and join future medical leaders of America. If that's not your thing, you can start your own club. You can pursue something outside of school. I feel like there's a really big misconception that, um, that you have to join school clubs and be an officer of your school clubs for it to look good. You could literally just start doing art and that counts as an extracurricular. YouTube, if you want to start a YouTube channel, do that. I feel like it's more quality over quantity. Um, if you're in a club, try to really, really go in depth and try to really dedicate all of your time. I'm just going to tell you guys my extracurriculars for juniors so you could kind of get an idea. Um, I don't feel like my extracurriculars are... Um, are taking up all of my life but I feel like they're taking up a good amount of time my real extracurricular though that actually takes the most of my time is actually my YouTube channel um, so yeah so basically when I was a freshman um, I joined a ton of clubs I only stuck with two I applied for officer for two of my clubs when I was a freshman and um, I got both of the positions and then I kind of like worked my way up but when I was a freshman I was the two clubs that I stuck with since I was a freshman was Future Business Leaders of America and Spanish National Honor Society. Um, I applied for publicist of Spanish National Honor Society. I got it and now I'm vice president of that. And then for Future Business Leaders of America, I started out as a... Um, I tried out for like parliamentarian and then I got treasurer and then now I'm president. I also started my own club as a freshman. I started Young Entrepreneurs Club. So yeah, um, junior year I also tried out for Link Crew, which is when you're kind of a mentor for freshmen. Um, I don't think I'm going to join it again just because I really enjoyed it and I love my freshmen. So I don't know if I'll rejoin it. Um, I also joined ASB Senators and then I also became kind of like an art docent for like a museum slash foundation that's near me. So those were my extra curriculum. I honestly think that bees make you look more human. Um, 
obviously try to get your A's, but B's make you look more human in my opinion. An educational risk. Maybe you took that AP Calculus BC class and you got a B or C. That's just showing that you're able to put your superficial grades behind your thirst for knowledge. And B's make you human. Um, it is okay to get B's. Do not kill yourself if you get a B. It is okay. It shows that you're human. It shows that you took educational risks. Maybe you could have tried harder. That's a mistake though. We make mistakes in life every single day and I personally don't think that you should let it get you down because everyone makes mistakes in life and I don't even think one B is bad. You can get two B's. You can get three B's. You can get four B's. It's, it's a B. It's a B. It's just one letter grade. Um, another tip I have for junior year is just to have fun doing your homework. That's something I discovered this year. I'll sit at that white table right behind me in my room. It's a mess. I'll blast the music and I'll do my homework and it's amazing and it's fun for me. That's another tip I have for junior year. Another tip I have for junior year is when you're picking your classes, don't go overboard self. You still want that intellectual vitality, but you don't want to constantly be stressed and not have time for stuff you love. The, another tip is just to take classes that you know you're going to enjoy. I went into art history. I knew I was going to enjoy that class and that's my favorite class. It's literally changed my whole entire perspective on life. So I would say just take risks like that when you're picking your classes. It's okay to drop um, that extra science class if you're into history and maybe double up on history. Maybe do U.S. history and do government or do you, well, government's a senior class, but maybe do U.S. history and Euro. It's okay to start specializing when you're a junior and the classes that you take, if you fall in love with them, it will reflect in your grades, it will reflect in your understanding, and it'll help you with college essays. Um, one thing I started doing junior year was I started planning out my college essays. I have um, notes on my phone and I'm constantly putting down ideas and just writing down stuff that inspires me so that I have stuff to write about for junior year. Another overall tip is to gradually make lists of college you want to go to. Um, I have a whole list and I'm editing it every time I change my mind and that makes it a lot easier on yourself when you're applying to college as a senior because instead of doing all this research on one night, you've gradually been doing research and you're ready and you are you know which colleges you want to apply to. So keep that list, keep adding, keep deleting it. I can't even tell you how much my list has changed since freshman year and I'm not stressed about doing college research because I know what to do. Another thing you should consider doing, which I wish I would have known, was start looking into subject tests. Um, I wish I would have known this so I could have, you know, chosen which subject I wanted to um, choose. But it's a little late for me. Um, I don't recommend you doing what I did. Choose your AP tests and just pick one or two subjects that you really, really like and try to take those subject tests. Um, I really like literature, but now that I'm seeing what the AP literature test is, I am not into taking it. I'm not looking forward to taking it. So yeah, just do your research. Please do. I wish why I would have done that. Um, I wish I would have done that. Another thing is, is SAT. Now, I've been super behind on SAT. I'm a second semester junior and I've not taken the SAT yet. And that literally spells death, D-E-A-T-H. Um, I'm not really worried because I know I'm going to take it soon, but you really need to start studying at the beginning of your junior year. I cannot stress this enough. Um, once you have your SAT taken care of, you will feel so, so, so relieved. So please, if you're not a junior yet, look at College Board. Look at the test dates. Start putting check marks next to the test dates that you think you might want to consider. That's something very important. Um, make sure to create your College Board account, but really though, make sure you look into SAT tests. Order your books on Amazon if them are under $20. I don't recommend doing SAT classes. I did SAT classes and I can honestly wholeheartedly say that they did not help me. Self-studying has been best for me and a lot of my friends. So um, if you can't afford SAT classes, don't feel left out because SAT classes really don't help that much. But yeah, definitely look into the SAT. Um, I would say take that maybe 
December of your junior year so you know your score and you could take it maybe one or two more times after. So yeah, I really hope I'm not forgetting anything, but I'm at the 20 minute mark. I feel like I'm talking a lot, so you can literally leave any question you want down below for me just because um, I love talking about college. It's literally, my life is inundated with college research. I'm constantly researching. I love college. It's something I've been obsessed with since I was little. Um, I just, college is so fun. So just leave any questions or comments you have for me. You can ask um, about my year even more. You can ask me to help you choose your classes. Oh, actually what I want you to do is comment down below what your junior year course load is or what you're planning to do. I'll respond to all of them. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later.